Yes, today, one jet airliner has been conceived, designed, and built with maintenance in mind. The 880. We build these 880s, but we don't fly them around the clock. We don't sell tickets and take on passengers. We don't continually service these planes after thousands of hours in the air. All of this is your job, the men and women who operate airlines in this country and around the world. At Convair, we don't do the day-in, day-out maintenance job you people do. But we are still vitally concerned with maintenance. As we designed and built the 880, we tried to think from your point of view. We asked for your suggestions on maintenance. Many of the service features now on the 880 are a direct result of these suggestions. In a modern jet airliner, there are many facets to the maintenance story. Maintenance is more than large access openings and easy inspections. Good maintenance is easier when certain maintenance items are eliminated, when longer inspection intervals are possible, when system components are protected from damage or abuse, and when Convair quality is built in, because quality is the best economy. The 880 brings you all of these maintenance advantages. As you men know, maintenance features built into every airplane must be weighed and balanced against the economy of performance of the airplane. The Convair 880 has found this delicate balance. We think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the maintenance and service features of the 880. Because here is one jet airliner designed with maintenance in mind. There are four big reasons why Convair's 880 will make life easier for your maintenance department. One, basic structure. Two, systems designed for maintenance. Three, 880 spares. Four, customer services. There they are, but let's look at each one in more detail. First, Convair's basic structure. In designing the 880, Convair engineers worked toward three goals. They were to use the most advanced design and manufacturing methods available to produce a structure that is as trouble-free as possible, to provide a structure that will maintain fail-safe operation, and to provide a structure that permits maximum allowable flight time between major inspections. All three of these goals have been realized in the 880, and they have resulted in a passenger liner with structural integrity that will minimize maintenance problems. For example, the fail-safe three-spar wing construction. Fail-safe means the surrounding structure is strong enough to take over the load of any neighboring failed member. Convair's 880 has three load-bearing spars instead of two, and any two of the spars can support the load of the whole wing. This is a tremendous structural safety and maintenance advantage, and means minor repair work can be scheduled at convenient times. Basic structural engineering incorporated into the 880 wing was developed and proved in the Convair 240, 340, and 440. These wings set an unparalleled performance record and underwent total life testing. The fatigue-resistant quality built into every part and assembly of the 880 is another maintenance bonus. These parts and the airplane as a whole were subjected to pressure tests, load and flight condition tests, and vibration studies, as well as prolonged flight tests. These fatigue tests far exceeded normal flight operations of more than 20 years of medium-range operations. A test program like this shows that the Convair 880 jet airliner will give you long and trouble-free service. The maintenance spree fuel tank has long been the dream of airline service personnel. Now the Convair 880 brings it to you with its leak-proof Scotch Weld wing tank. 
These Scotch Weld fuel tanks were developed by Convair for the Air Force's F-102 and are now also used in the F-106 first line jet interceptors. None of these wing tanks in military service has ever had a fuel leak due to Scotch Weld failure. This is an excellent record after more than four years and hundreds of thousands of hours of torturous supersonic high altitude jet operation. Naturally, no civilian plane will be called on to stand stresses like these. To make these tanks, Convair applies a Scotch Weld prime coating to both sides of each metal part. This coating protects the metal from corrosive elements of jet fuel or corrosive agents such as salt air and engine exhaust. Not even Skydrawl will affect this prime. In the event of a leak caused by damage, Scotch Weld tanks can be repaired with conventional sealing methods in an airline's own repair shop. Through the use of 2024 alloy and tension applications, unparalleled structural performance is achieved. Because of heavy fuselage skin, stringers are eliminated around windows. Heavy skin also helps maintain aerodynamic cleanliness minimizes internal inspections, and eliminates the need for special crack stoppers. Windows in the cabin are triple pane, and each pane is easy to replace. They are popped in or popped out using only hand pressure. Cabin pressure, channeling, and rubber seals hold them in place. No bolts or screws are used. All of these structural qualities are built into the 880 to maintain fail-safe operation even though failure is not detectable from the outside. This minimizes internal structural inspections. Now let's investigate systems designed for maintenance. Where practical, system units have been designed with a minimum of fastenings, connections, and ducts for quick, easy removal. For example, under test conditions, Convair specialists utilize the quick disconnects, simple engine mounts, and air logistics system engine stand to make a complete 880 engine change in only 30 minutes. Over 90% of your present jet engine tools and equipment can be used to service and maintain the 880 engine and airplane. The CJ805 engines are easier to handle too because they weigh 1,000 pounds less than other jet airliner engines now in commercial use. Overhaul of the CJ805 is greatly simplified since it can be done either horizontally or vertically. Fueling the 880 is easier and faster with a 300 gallons per minute refueling rate per fueling point. The fueling operation centers around the pylon. Here, preset gauges and switches enable one man to monitor fueling outside the airplane. This means servicing people do not have to enter the flight compartment. The 880 is fueled through underwing pressure inlets. However, overwing fueling may be used if no pressure equipment is available. It is not necessary to drain or purge fuel tanks for servicing or replacement of transfer pumps, booster pumps, fuel control valves, or pump low pressure warning switches. The job can be done quickly and easily, even with fuel in the tank. The 880 needs no water injection for takeoff. This saves 5,000 pounds of weight, and more important to you, eliminates maintenance on a water injection system. Further out on the wing is another feature that maintenance men and safety people like, the wingtip fuel dump system. This keeps fuel away from hot engines and prevents it from dousing the tail surfaces, wing, or fuselage. And there are no extendable fuel dump chutes on the 880, so you have no maintenance on them as you do on other jet airliners. Another elimination of maintenance on the 880.
further inboard on the wing are components of another system on the 880, the flight control system. Controls that operate these units are the most accessible in the industry. Torque tubes, cables, and cranks are all easy to reach and to service. So is the horizontal stabilizer jack screw, which has hydraulic actuation with electric and manual operation backup systems. Quick disconnect provision allows easy access to the nose wheel well. Non-flexing cables and bell cranks are used on controls for better response and less friction. No pulleys or tension regulators are needed and special pins used in the control system allow easier rigging of controls. Main flight controls cables are given complete right of way down through the plane from flight compartment to the control surfaces. The rest of this forward compartment houses the bulk of the electric and electronic equipment components. This compartment can be reached from the outside or through an access door in the floor of the forward coat compartment for emergency in-flight inspection and service. Wherever possible, system components have been packaged or compartmentalized so they can be removed or changed for servicing. The 880 eliminates the use of one giant junction box. Instead, six racks are wired as separate units. In the midship service compartment are the major hydraulic components. They are grouped here where they can be serviced or repaired conveniently. Even the hydraulic reservoirs are in this pressurized fuselage area. Since no major parts of the system are in the wheel wells, components are protected from weather and tire and wheel damage. Hydraulic filters use indicators to show when they are dirty and should be serviced. The remote hydraulic fillers and test connections are handy for quick, easy servicing. Situated under the wing area are the major components of the air conditioning and pressurization systems. Accessibility is excellent since elements can be reached from the ground. No special handling dolly is required. This makes maintenance and service of these systems easier and faster. There are two air pressurization and air conditioning systems providing double backup in case of an emergency. Elements are grouped together so they may be pulled out in units for easier servicing and repair. Now let's find out about 880 spares. The goal is fewer parts on your shelf and less time spent to prepare quick change buildups. For example, all four engines are built up the same, except for thrust reverser cascades and seven small parts on one starting engine. These three engines are almost immediately interchangeable, and accessories are replaceable while the engine is on the plane. The 880 airplane and customer support are both designed with maintenance in mind. 880 designed maintenance began when engineers studied the problems and requirements of a new airliner, was born in the blueprint stages, was developed and perfected in mock-ups, was proven through tests of each component and as a whole aircraft, was carried out in the manufacturing, and is a vital support of customer services today. We haven't tried to tell the whole story of the 880. Instead, we have concentrated on some of the representative maintenance features of the 880 jet airliner. And when we put all of these features together, we discover that here is an aircraft that is unusually reliable and easy to service. And one that has been designed with maintenance in mind.